hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is the ue4 saltpeter game has crashed and will close so if you are receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video so first of all if you have the game on xbox app like if you are a game pass user in that case you can try steps from this video i made a separate video for game pass user so you can follow the steps from this video now steam users can follow the rest of the steps now the first step is to restart your computer so first of all the first step is to restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check on this box and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work open this salt peter folder binaries win64 make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab again do the same thing run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from here you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the, in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then close this launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 and then close this launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party uh, antivirus program like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you you're using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection now click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open Again, click on add and load app, browse all apps, and this time open this saltpeter folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in windows search box, and then go to control panel, click on system and security, windows defender firewall, click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall, click on change settings on the top, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then again go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add once in my case it is already added once added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open salt peter binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add now once the game is added over here now click, click on ok on the bottom and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia 
so go to nvidia website and then for product type for me it's g force so select g force now select your series make sure that you select the right series as per your graphic card for me it's 30 series now select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card now if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver over here and then click on search and then click on download and again click on download on this page and once the download is 100% complete you can run this file and now once you run this file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is inst once the installation is complete restart your computer and then check now the next step is to now you can skip this step if you if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game you can turn off frame generation turn off super sampling turn off nvidia reflex low latency you can try window mode and lower down graphics setting so try to lower down graphics settings if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step so go to settings and then go to graphics now if the vsync is on you can turn this off if anti-aliasing is set to ultra you can set it to best or maybe low motion blur you can turn it off now over here you can see nvidia reflex low latency now if this is on you can turn this off now for graphics api if this is set to directx 12 you can set it to DirectX 11 and then check if you are already using DirectX 11 then you can change it to DirectX 12 and then check super sampling now if you are using NVIDIA DLSS in that case you can turn off frame generation now if frame generation is on you can turn this off this has worked for many players so it might work for you so turn off frame generation and if you are using like nvidia dlss in that case for super resolution you can set this to quality and frame generation to off and then check but in my case i will simply turn off super sampling this has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can try to turn off super sampling but if you're using nvidia dlss in that case turn off frame generation and set it to quality now you can apply these settings Now go to display. Now if this is set to resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And if you're using full screen, you can switch to borderless. You can even switch to window mode. And I will set it to lower resolution. And then you can apply this settings. And then check the performance. Now the next step is to delete the config file and then launch the game. Now for this open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items, hidden items put a check over here and then you should be able to see app data folder, open app data, open local folder and then open salt peter folder now open save folder now over here you will see config folder open config folder now if you have the game on steam windows no editor if you have the game on xbox app then win gdk so i have for windows no editor you can open this folder or you can simply go back and delete this complete config folder make a right click and then click on delete once you delete it all the saved settings will be lost so you can delete it once deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working you, you can delete the save game files but before you delete the save game file let me inform you you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the save game files now for this you can go back and then you can delete this salt peter folder delete it and once deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save again, click on browse and then open saltpeter binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Once it is added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using. So if you have any these devices connected, any USB adapter, USB devices which you are not using, disconnect it. If you have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it, close it from task manager. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to general tab and then over here, enable the Steam overlay while in game. You can turn this off and then check. Now also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, Turn off overlay in Discord. If you have GeForce Experience running, turn off overlay in GeForce Experience. So close all overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any overclocking application running like MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, any kind of overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update or update and security. Then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now, over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download x86 and x64 and run both the exe files. So click on it. Once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now, download the x64 file as well. Again, once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. Now, again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install, click on yes to allow, and let the installation complete. Now, once both the installation are complete, then restart your computer. Restart is a must. Restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. 
so 116 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 now click on set over here then click on OK OK apply OK OK now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So whichever brand you have, go to their website and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update your system BIOS. Now before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable. And once the BIOS update is complete, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to another drive like SSD, uh, external drive like D drive or E drive, you can uninstall the game and then install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.